Hi. The name of this tutorial is Blender 2.49 Python Programming 1 Setup. In addition to everything else, Blender is a programming environment with Python as its language of choice. Even if you don't plan on creating Python scripts in Blender, you should understand the Python environment. Python is how Blender talks to you. The purpose of this tutorial is to introduce you to Blender's Python environment. Understanding this environment should help you understand how Blender works as well. Of course, if you want to write Python scripts to make Blender behave exactly how you want, becoming familiar with the Blender Python environment is the first step. Even if you don't program, just understanding how to run a script will allow you to run Python programs, called scripts, written by others. For starters, go to the Python scripts catalog you can find the links to websites mentioned here at http slash slash blender3dvideos.blogspot.com, the companion blog to my tutorials. Did you ever wonder what the purpose of the first window is and what the message compiled with Python 2.62, checking for install Python, got it, means? Does it have anything to do with big poisonous snakes? No. The first window is Python's console for Blender. That message, which you should see as well, means that Blender found a good Python installation on your computer and that it could run Python programs. Blender also reports the Python version it found. You should, in general, go with the latest, most stable version of Python which you can find at www.python.org. Python programs, incidentally, are called scripts and have the same meaning as scripts in the theater. They're instructions for Blender. Blender uses Python scripts everywhere to create objects, to move objects around in a scene, to animate objects, to add materials and textures, and so on. Blender has two windows that were designed for interacting with Python. The scripts window, the one with the snake icon, was designed to run Python scripts. The scripts are grouped into areas such as mesh, object, and UV. To run a script, select it from the menu. One commonly used script is to save the UV face layout to a file for use with an image editor such as the GIMP or Photoshop. When you run the script, a screen with options for the UV image file displays. You can accept the defaults or change them and then press OK. The script will then run, asking you where you want to create the face layout file. Blender has a built-in scripting setup, which works well if you want to create Python scripts in Blender. To access this window, go to the sr colon 5 hyphen scripting window, which you can select from the drop-down menu. There are three windows the 3D viewport on the left, the buttons window with the scripts area highlighted at the bottom, and the text window at the right. You've probably downloaded blend files with notes in the text window. That's a great use for it. Another is to write Python scripts for Blender. Let's write our first Python script, a message to the Blender console announcing our presence. Type, print, quote, Ira was here, quote, or use your own name, in the text window. To run a script, you can either press Alt-P or from the text menu, select Run Python Script. Press Alt-P. Seemingly, nothing happened. Blender is strangely silent if things go OK. Actually, the script ran. To see the result, go to the Blender console and the message Ira was here displays or at least it'll be your name. Blender will, however, tell you when you've made a programming error. Let's introduce an error. Text needs to be enclosed on each side by double quotes, or two single quotes, either one, but you need it on both sides. Delete the last double quote. Press Alt-P. You'll get the following message. Error. Python script error. Check console. Now that you've gotten this far in the tutorial, you know where to look. 
click on the console window. You get the message syntax error EOL while scanning string literal file text line one. And there's a little carrot that shows where it thought the error was. Actually, the error isn't quite where the message is pointing, but you have to give Blender a, a gold star for trying to be helpful. Go back to the text window and add the double quote back and press Alt-P and check the console window. You get the print statement to the window. Here are some formatting tips. Press the computer window icon. This makes the text window full screen. If your script is large, it's easier to have the window full screen so you won't have to scroll up and down as much. To return the text window's original size, press the computer window icon again. The screen is divided into four parts now. The next button displays line numbers along with the code. This can be very handy, especially considering that Blender's error messages usually give you the line number. Line numbers make it easier for you to get to a particular line. The next window enables word wrap. Generally, you won't want that button enabled when you're writing a script, although it's handy if you're writing notes or freeform text in the window. The AB button enables syntax highlighting. This is useful in coding to give you hints as to the proper syntax of a line of code. The snake button enables Python text plugins. Text plugins give the text editor more power. You can find text plugins by going to the text menu and selecting text plugins. The screen drop down lets you change the font size. The code currently displays with a font size of 12. You can change it to 15 by selecting 15. Your choices depend on the fonts installed on your computer. The tab selector lets you change the number of spaces that the editor inserts when you press the tab key. Python syntax checks based on having the code properly tabbed. Making the indent larger helps the readability of the code as well. You can add a tab by placing the cursor at the beginning of the line and selecting indent from the format menu. Highlight the line Ira was here. You can comment it out by selecting Comment from the Format menu. Commenting a line of code means that the code will not execute, i.e. run. To show this, press Alt-P to run the program. The message does not display on the console. You can uncomment by selecting Uncomment from the Format menu. Press Alt-P to run the program again. This time the message displays on the console. You can create more than one script in a blend file. To do this, click the Add New button. A new blank text window titled Text001 displays. Enter a line of code. We'll print Message from Outer Space and close in quotes. Press Alt-P and check the console. The message displays. If you save the blend file, Control w all the text windows are saved. You can also save individual text windows by selecting the Save button from the text window or pressing Alt-S. Python files should be saved with an extension of .py. I hope this gives you a good level of comfort with Blender's Python programming environment. I plan to do more tutorials on how to use Python in Blender. There's a lot to cover, much more than can be done in a short 10-minute tutorial. Happy blending!